Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Uh, in this video I'm just looking back over some footage from spearfishing on the wrecks in November time. So we got out there twice. First time we got out there, conditions were perfect. Got to the wreck at about 7am, sun was rising. Flat sea, 6 metres visibility. Got down on the wreck in 25 metres and um, Actually, things did not go so well. Uh, you can see the bass have actually got spooked off the wreck. Probably going to blame my dive buddy there, who's gone into the bow section of the wreck and uh, and caused him to panic. I think about putting a spear in this bass here, mid school, but it's it's a nice fish for around four kilos and can't necessarily get a good holding shot on it. So um, left that, went back down, had a few more dives, but no bass to be seen. But um, found a half decent pollock, which was good. But um, yeah, it was quite clear after we'd spent about an hour looking around, the, the bass had gone. So we went off to a different wreck for a while sun had come up now and it was really uh, giving us great visibility here at 30 meters. Um, had a nice dive with the pouting and just getting comfortable with the deep dives but uh, didn't take any fish on this wreck. Returned to the wreck where the bass got spooked earlier and um, after about half an hour I finally found them in a hold. dived down softly on top of the kelp and we've begun very slowly over to where they are in the hold. I've got a good elevated position and they haven't really, uh, they haven't got spooked by me and I, I give it a minute just to see what's on offer there and uh, finish up taking, taking this bass here just under four kilos which is a really nice fish. Second dive, uh, we actually started out doing some reef work. Um, we were diving a patch of reef which extends about two kilometers out to sea. Mr. Corey. And um, quite quickly we found the pollock on the fish finder. And yeah, straight down there, put a spear into a nice pollock. And um, chuck that on the boat. Next dive, uh, get down there again. The pollock is still there. It's a really sort of classic pollock terrain with um, kelpy boulders and um, plenty of hiding places for them. Um, to, to ambush their prey. A little look at the structure here. I'm cruising along and bump into this mullet. I was having a little look at the uh, having a little look at the kelp there. So um, put a spear in that one as well. So a couple of pollock and a mullet on the boat from the reef. We make our way to finish up on the wreck. Tide had started to push a bit and the um, visibility on the wreck wasn't quite so good. And um, yeah, these, the light was starting to fade a bit too, but there was, uh, there was enough, there was enough to be going with. I start just by going down, checking the anchors holding properly, and um, 
just take a position in the gap in the wall of the, of the structure. See a few bass over down to the right of me, I can see them just uh, schooled up there. But uh, then this really nice fish cruises right in front of me. Yeah, he comes back round to have another look and um, put a spear in him just behind the gills. He takes the spear straight off into the wreck, but um, yeah, pretty easy to pull him out without too much trouble. And uh, decent bass on the boat. All in all, um, a couple of really, really decent November dives with um, yeah, putting some decent fish on the table. Hope you like the video. Stay tuned.